I know when I'm outdoors uh, how relaxing and engaging and good it is for me in, in health and mental well-being. And I also know that I learn about the world around me. And so I see that in children. I know when I take them out that they often behave differently and they see much more about the world and they understand how complicated and interrelated it is. For me, uh, outdoor education is one of the most important things in the world. Uh, I think that uh, the outdoor environment for children is the best to develop and to learn in. There are lots of activities like that that just get children looking and listening and they, instead of just walking past, you know, and, and, and we've got lots and lots and little games and collections just get children thinking about where they're going and what they're looking at and things like that. It gives them a sense of being out in the nature. It gives them the opportunity to explore and to develop their own body. Uh, it gives them the space to, to try different things. Good access to outdoor learning and play is essential in the informative years. And from my perspective, outdoor learning is when a child has quality time that's led by the amount of time that they want to spend outdoors, both having adult-led and child-led, but predominantly child-led activity for children who are under six. For me, one of the most simple reasons is that I just love being in the outdoors. Um, I hate spending all day inside, so if I can go outside to work, uh, to help children learn, then for me that's a, a massive benefit already. I don't think it's that expensive. You can use cheap materials, recycled materials, or you can just be outside in a park or in a forest and, and use what you, what you have. It's really important that children feel that they have ownership of a space, that they are part of something that is theirs. But at the same time, we as adults do have an influence. We have an influence over where we take them. We have an influence over what the boundaries are that those children have. We have an influence over whether we introduce other materials to those outside spaces. The challenge is this. Each person <coughs> is going to find two leaves that match identically. Like absolutely the same. The children love to be outside. They, they are much more healthier outside. They are much more happier outside because there is much more space to running around. There is so much to do outside. But I don't think there's any more risk being outside than being inside or being on a playground. The overall is that you are prepared and you teach the children how to act according to the different environments they are joining. There's a huge amount of discovery um, and just wonder. The, the size of the trees, the smoothness of the stones, the feeling of rushing water between your fingers, uh, mud slipping between your toes, just all of these things can just, they just push the emotions of the individual, of a human. Sometimes it's easy to think, this is fun, this is just good time. And actually one of the things I think we need to be better at doing is saying, no, there's really deep learning going on here. And if I can evaluate what the children are doing and, and evidence that, just like I would indoors, then that adds to uh, the reasons for being outside. But it also allows me as an educator to have insight about what worked and what didn't work and how my behaviours or the children's behaviours could alter to improve that learning experience. If we won't let them try those things, they don't know the risks. We need to show them that fire is hot. There's a risk. They know the rule. I can't put my fingers to the fire. If they put their, their finger inside, they can feel the pain. So they know the risks by themselves. They are learning. How that feels and how they respond to it. And they become much more resilient at taking on risk and managing risk and bouncing back when things don't go right and there's failure. I think first we have to be like role models for them because they're kids. If we show them what to do, how to do, when to do something, after that they, they're going to do it by themselves. They're going to learn, they're going to explore, discover. And when I go outside, children can be really physical 
and they can be really creative and imaginative and they can use things in a way that we wouldn't have planned and they can make noise and they can run at high speed and it's much more child-led and much more enjoyable for them. You have the opportunity to, to be outside, um, to, to get the calmness of your mind, to experience the presence of being in the nature and use all your senses. Everything is different, it's new, it's interesting. You know, we go over uneven terrain, we're looking at natural materials that all have different sensory input. Um, and it's just, it just captures the, the motivation, the imagination, um, just the, the whole heart of the child. We have this vision that we want uh, children all over Europe to get out, outside and have all the benefits of being in the outdoor environment. So that's why we have the project. The Take Me Out project, I think it's been, uh, benefited me in, in a number of ways. It's given me confidence with my own practice. It's given me the ability to go out there and know that I'm not alone and that other people are going through the same sort of day-to-day um, -day ups and downs in their settings. But at the same time, that I am doing some good outdoor stuff and I really enjoy being outdoors. And I know what my core values are and why I'm doing it. Yeah. I know why I'm here.